in my culture, um, we always say we live with the land, which in uh, actual reality we're referring to, you know, Mother Earth and uh, our environment and all the natural formations are very important. And, uh, you know, that's what we refer to as Mother Earth. And, uh, and we, you know, respect everything Mother Earth provides in the form of, you know, all the beautiful sacred mountains, all the mesas and the plateaus and the plants. As an artist uh, and as a weaver, I'm always looking and observing and photographing and admiring the landscape that I'm very familiar with. And I grew up surrounded by many mesas and many plateaus and mountains. And Black Mesa is an actual location that I know very well. And this particular location uh, inspired me to create the tapestry Black Mesa. My weaving has been passed down for you know many generations, and I'm a fourth generation. So basically, you know, I can say I'm born into a family of weavers. So at an early age, I grew up, you know, herding sheep, uh, raising sheep, and uh, learning the intensive process of you know uh, sheep maintenance and also you know weaving. I really do enjoy the outdoors, exploring and roaming places to gather plants to make my colors. And I use a lot of the, uh, you know, common plants that grow in my area uh, near where I live. So I get to use, you know, plants that, uh, you know, my grandmother and my great-grandmother use that grows, you know, near where we live in the mountains and about a lot of my inspirations uh, for my tapestries uh, come primarily from my home environment on the Navajo Reservation. And, you know, I can say that I'm very fortunate, you know, that I can stand outside my hogan or my home and I can see in all four directions. And there are formations outlined in step patterns in all shapes and forms painted in many shades of intense bright hues of reds, yellows, orange, pinks, purples and even the dark colors of the night. Um, and I get to see, you know, all these, you know, colors, you know, they're unlimited, you know, to my eyes, just, you know, from my front door.